everybody, it's Aquila, and this is Lefty Nerd Podcast. This is going to be like a bonus episode, maybe? I don't know. Today is Thursday, July 30th, and I have finally ordered a piece of equipment that I've wanted for years. It's a little hefty in price, and I've not done it because of that, but... I got really, really, really lucky, and I won this contest through my work, through one of the other companies that we work with, and it was a nice-sized gift card, and I put it towards this piece of equipment, so I'm so excited. I will take you on my journey, I guess. Um, so it should be coming today. At least that's what UPS is saying. And we'll take it from there, I guess. It's here, 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 it's here. Thank you, Mr. UPS, man. It's here. And these birds are crazy. I just gave them a new suet and they've eaten like all of it. Okay, everybody, my box is here. It's just crazy. My cat is here. Got my scissors. Let's open this. Oy. It's probably gonna be like packaged really crazy and it's gonna take me forever to get into. So, oh boy. So, John went to go get Hayes, and, oh boy, alright, oh yeah, it does come in, I remember hearing this when I've heard other people talk about theirs. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to get this out of this box. Let's see. Oh my god, it's so heavy, I feel like, I feel like I need to like, cut the box open. Or rip it. Or something. Give it a little more room here. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. You probably can't see this. Ready? Oh boy! Oh my god. It comes in a cool little box. I totally forgot that <coughs> they mentioned that. They said I'll get a whole little thing with all my paperwork, so there's that. I bought myself a circular sock knitting machine, the Earlbacker Gearheart um, Speedster. Wow. Open this end. I think I need um, a screwdriver. <laughs> okay. So, it says open this end. Oh boy, I need a bigger screwdriver. I got this little tiny guy, and yeah, that's not going to work, so... I did grab my toolkit here. Oh boy. So I know these are expensive. I know this is not something everyone can afford. I, like I said, I had gotten really lucky and won that contest and it was a, a significant prize, obviously. Um, I felt really guilty um, about purchasing this, um, considering I could have used those gift cards for other things for our family, but it was miscellaneous income anyway. Um, and John encouraged me to buy it. I've been talking about it for years, practically, but I always felt really guilty about it. So, yeah, let's try to do this. Oh my god, it says Speedster 64 on it. That is so cool. Okay. Made in the USA, y'all. The people there are so freaking nice. Like, ridiculously nice. I talked to Kim. Um, I think I talked to another person the first time. I can't even remember. But I know when I made my payment 
because you call and you place your you order it first and then once it's done being made and tested uh, you call you get a, you call back and you go through the whole shebang and make sure everything that you have ordered is what you wanted so wow they really like put this together in um, some solid packaging. <laughs> Um, they keep really good records apparently, so if you call and you need information, I don't know if I need to open that. I'm not quite sure if I needed to open what I already undid, but it said open this end, so. But the hinges are here, so I'm thinking, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so in the basic package, which is what I purchased, um, you can pick a color. There's like four colors. I think it's red, yellow, green, and black. I got green because green. Oh yeah. So, oh boy. So it opens like that. Probably can't see. There's the hinges on it. You can't really see anything of what I'm doing here. But if I tilt it too far down, Oh boy, so comes with all the packing material. Wow, this is, this is quite amazing. I bought um, the sock weights. They're the fork weights. Um, I know people on the YouTube videos I've watched previously about these machines because I've watched quite a few videos. Um, people have made weights. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just put out a little extra money and get the weights they make. That way I'm not attempting to try to make my own weights. Um, so yeah, so the green is like a really dark, dark green. Hopefully I can, I don't wanna break anything as I'm doing this. Wow, there's a lot of pieces to this. I might have to just pause and get the stuff out and then I can show you everything. I found this really interesting. It comes with a picture of the box that it comes in so you can package it back the same way when you need to put it in this box for some reason. I guess if um, you want to take it somewhere, that's really cool. I just wanted to show you that. So uh, this is, uh, it comes with a booklet, came with, this is the green, if you can see that. I don't know how well you can see that green. It's green though. Yay. Here's my bonnet. I got some extra cones, which I don't have a cone winder, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's a lot of money. Those are expensive. I was looking those up. But I still haven't gotten the machine out. <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay, finally, they give you the screwdriver to get all the pieces that are attached in the box out. That's why I wasn't paying any. I didn't realize it. But I got this, the main part undone, so I wanted to pull this out and show you guys. I mean, the foam's on there. <laughs> but that's the pretty green that it is. Oh boy, I am so excited. I almost got yellow, because it would be bright. Um, but I decided not to, and I went with my favorite color. And... Wow, that's kind of, maybe that's uh, screwed down there. I don't know. I don't want to mess this up. Uh, I'm going to go back off video again, but I wanted to show you. Oh my God, it's so cool. I got a 64 uh, needle cylinder. So, wow, this is crazy. This is so crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to take any more of this out until I have a table, which I don't have a table. I knew this was coming, and I knew I should have went somewhere and got a table from a thrift or something, but with COVID, I just wasn't really going anywhere. Yeah, I'll figure something out. But I don't wanna take any more of it out because there's really no point because I'm not gonna be cranking on it. Uh, you need to read the manual and make sure I know what I'm doing. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so ignore them playing Street Fighter. I have it set up on a table that we have a printer on that's just kind of spare table we have. Um, but I am now, I've done a few rounds with the waste yarn and I read somewhere that you can wind your yarn onto cones, which I bought some cones. And you can use your ball winder, but you have to stuff it so it stays on your ball winder, since I don't have a cone winder. Um, so yeah, now I'm just putting the actual color I'm gonna use on to my thing, and let's pray that it works. It's very loud, hold on. Okay, I don't know if I've done this right, and whatever. <laughs> so let's hope this thing works right. Although it looks like I have some yarn that kind of came down under the cone. It's gonna be some like practicing with that too. But, oh boy. It's like nerve wracking. I mean, I know it's yarn, I can just undo it. But, Like, I want to crank really fast, but I don't want to crank really fast. It looks like it's working. So this is some knit picks I've had in my stash for a very long time. Looks like I didn't drop any stitches. Score! First time doing this, so it's all new. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move the camera and I'll take some footage and put some music in and show you it spinning round and round. All right, everybody, so I now have nothing on my machine, and I cranked my first tube. I screwed up in one spot. I don't know what happened. The yarn jerked, and I had a weird spot. Um, inside, I can show you. But it's all gonna take time. I didn't do anything special. I didn't, you can hang a hem, you can do pico edging, you can do like other, you can do the heels. And the toes on the machine. I have to read the book, I have to watch some videos and figure that all out, but I am very very excited. Um, I hope that you guys will enjoy taking this journey with me. Here's that whole tube. So I only had one ball of this Felici and I was like well if I crank the whole tube and I that would be one sock. It's not bad. It'd be a little bit of a shorty sock but that's okay. Um, that's the bonnet you put on it. And, uh, yeah, let me see, I don't remember, I, I know I saw that stitch. See if I can turn this out enough to find it. So, yeah, so I just have to put cuffs and cut in a heel, and that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's really awesome. Oh, here it is. So I don't know what I did here. It, like, jerked. And it skipped a couple stitches, so if you can see that. Nope, my face is in the way. Okay. It like s skipped, but it picked up on the next round. So I don't know exactly what happened, but it's okay. Like, you can definitely see from the outside where that was, too. Because um, it like... Jerked. Oh, I was out of focus that whole time. It didn't drop any stitches, but it did, um, it has like a kind of a jerky line there. But that's okay. Again. 
I don't know how I ended up doing that. So, oh, blurry again. So I am very excited to take you guys on this journey. I hope that you guys will continue to um, support me and encourage me and send me any links to um, Instagram posts or people that are cranking some socks so I can see maybe their tips and tricks. I've watched quite a few videos, so I've, uh, I say I'm a lot, but I've seen a lot of the different people, but I know they're selling a lot more of these machines and I know people are putting videos out online. So I probably haven't seen everybody, but yeah, there it is. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Maybe I'll fiddle with trying to heal. Eek. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I guess you'll see more stuff on the regular podcast videos that might include the machine. I do small videos of maybe what I'm attempting to try. So that's about it. Yeah. Yay. This is crazy cool. I mean, I did this in, I don't even know, 20 minutes, maybe, only because I was being cautious. <laughs> and I could have just put more waste yarn and done a whole nother ball, but I didn't have any other yarn prepped. So that's where we are. <laughs> All right, until the next actual episode on my channel, thanks for watching and happy knitting, guys.